Do you see it in there? I just wanted to pop on here and show you an idea that I have what I'm calling mini greenhouses to start my plants now this is the very first time that I'm doing any of this including gardening but hopefully it all works out these are just the water gallon jugs that you get at the grocery store and we cut this piece here we just cut a slit right down here across and back up and we can then flip it up and access inside. So we put some screw holes in the bottom for drainage, and then we added some pea gravel so that the dirt doesn't come right out of those holes. And then we are now filling it with the dirt. The idea would be if I have them in these containers, it should keep it warmer just like a greenhouse would. And if I need to, I can just tarp this entire fixture here and kind of keep it a little bit warmer in there. So these are how the plants turned out. As they got a little bit too big, what I did was I just cut the tops off of my containers so that they had room to grow and I put them outside as the weather was appropriate. But what was great is I was able to bring them in anytime it dropped too low. And now my bed is ready. So we're gonna go ahead and plant all of these in the garden beds. The other thing that I wanted to mention, and it's not sponsored at all, but I think that I would not be doing justice if I didn't mention, I got these seeds from Seed Cellar on Etsy. That's Seed Cellar, like basement, C-E-L-L-A-R, I believe. Um, and they do the long-term storage seeds for like emergency purposes. And that's what these are that I purchased. They're supposed to have a high germination rate, but there was not one single place that I put seeds that did not come up. I am so incredibly impressed with how great these seeds germinated. Um, I honestly didn't know what to expect, but it is a fantastic product. They turned out incredible, as you can see. All right, guys so that is it for today here's the finished plants planted in our raised garden bed if you haven't seen the raised garden bed tutorial of how we did it um, go ahead back through our playlist it'll be there and then so again this is what we started with I'm using these leftover containers from the gallon water jugs to kind of create like a mini greenhouse to start my plants in and this is finished product. I'm excited to see them grow. This is again our first year doing gardens, 
before we moved out here, we lived in a place in New Jersey that we weren't able to grow our own plants at all, not even on our porches. So being able to do this is exciting and it's fantastic for self-sufficiency, especially in the crazy world that we live in where, I mean, we're going through formula shortages right now. No one would ever think that that was going to happen. So at least knowing we can grow our own food and we have our own chickens, we'll always have eggs and a source of protein there just makes us feel a little more comfortable.